Hello everyone and welcome to Quilt Addicts Anonymous. I'm Stephanie Seppin. It is time for another peek at the new arrivals that we have to share with you this week. We have some goodies. They're very bright. They're very bold. They're very fun. We also have one that's a little more subdued, but a lot of it's bright and fun and beautiful. All right, we're going to start with Modern Love from Northcott Fabrics. This one is gorgeous. It is stunning. And we're going to start with this one print that's super cool and you can only get in the back quarter bundle. So this print is continuous yardage and the repeat is about two thirds of a yard. So that's what we cut in there, including in the fat quarter bundles. And you can essentially treat it as a panel, even though it's not technically built as one, but it's so pretty and it has these beautiful florals. So if you get a fat quarter bundle, you will get this panel. It is not available on its own. It is only available as part of that bundle, but you could treat that as a center of your quilt and have a beautiful spring quilt done before you know it. And you could really have some fun with free motion with this one as you could outline all these flowers in some coordinating thread and really just make them pop. I mean, the possibilities are really endless with this one. It's just so gorgeous and so pretty. Next up, we're gonna take a look at the fat quarters. Let's just take a minute to appreciate the line. It is behind me. It is so beautiful and it is just, just fantastic. It is so, so pretty. So even though this collection is called Modern Love, in no way think Valentine's with this. It is just a lovely print if you wanna think of it that way. Very springy, very evocative of uh, fun, beautiful florals that pop up and the colors are just so rich. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So don't think that, you know, Valentine's is coming and I gotta skip it, you know, it's too late. You can have this out all spring and summer. Take a little bit bigger look at this one. This one's really fun because it's got the really pink ones here but then we have a lot of the greens and if we flip it over we have even more colors that we're going to see so it's just little snapshots of the fabrics that are in here this one we have to look at big look at all of that it just looks like watercolor just you know all mixed together it's so beautiful this is the one print that you could get away with absolutely using in a valentine's project because it's just the word love written over and over again in cursive I think if my daughter sees this, she's gonna ask for some of it because this is just so pretty and the colors are just amazing with the fuchsias and the purples, indigos, it's so pretty. Another love print, this is very magenta with hints of black in there as well. Very like, uh, almost sultry, almost sultry. This is the last of the ones that are that true magenta. We can see that circle theme playing out again. All right, so here's where we start to see those prints again, but in different colorways. So now we're in sort of a green section, really makes those prints pop. This one just looks like a whole lot of leaf stems. So this one's really fun. Would make a great uh, sort of neutral to make any of these pop. And speaking of neutrals, we got another. All right, we are back to that circle print. This time it is solidly purple colors and purple hues and a little bit of magenta here and there. These are just gorgeous. Like this will look so great as a big border. It's so pretty. Now we are going to see this again because they also did this as a backing, but it is just so pretty. It looks like, you know, rock formations and changing colors, but in those beautiful dark purples going into magenta with a little bit of green really brings out all the colors that you see in the rest of the collection. Seen this one before, but here it is again in the purples. Then we have two more of the stem prints. We have both this sort of medium purple, and then we have a little bit lighter version as well. They're both very pretty. All right, so I told you we would be seeing this print here again, and it is in this beautiful, lovely wide back. It is just absolutely gorgeous. And if you haven't worked with wide backs before, they're amazing because one, you don't have to piece your backing ever again. They're 108 inches wide. So you can get up to a 62 inch wide quilt out of two yards, and you can get up to a 98 inch wide quilt out of three yards. So it is really very nice. It's a great way to just have one coordinated piece that really works with all your fabric and it saves money because when you look at the cost per square inch, it is less expensive to get a wide back than it is to piece it together with yardage. And then you're not gonna have as much waste either, especially if you're doing a full twin or a full queen because you're gonna use up almost all of your backing fabric. And this one, this one's gorgeous. I may, may have to snag like three yards of this for me. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if you guys take it first. If you don't, go into my stash for sure. This is fabulous fabric. All right, so let's remember here, let's recap. We have the really cool panel that you can only get with the Fat Quarter Bundle. We have this fabric all available on Yardage as well. Plus we have our 108 inch wide back. It's all called Modern Love from Northcott Fabrics. 
All right, we have another really adorable collection called Just Kitten Around by Monica Forsberg. I had the privilege of speaking with Monica last year. We featured one of her collections as our Stashing with Stephanie line. So we'll make sure to link to that video tutorial so you guys can see it and watch it. Um, she is a artist who is um, based in England and she just has such pretty drawings. And one of the things that she draws or that she creates with her graphic design are silk scarves. So this design to me looks like one of her silk scarves. This is a panel. It is really, really pretty. And you could use it as one a large piece because it's got that quilty border going all the way across the top and all the way across the bottom. And there are little sections that go up if you want, or you could always cut it out and just have some big squares too. That That is totally up to your preference. But whenever you have something like this, it's just like your gift to quilters because you can have this be the center of your quilt. Then you can pop some borders on it, maybe finish up with some blocks. I mean, it'd be really fun to do a bunch of these blocks here that we see, just piece a bunch of them out of what's left from the fat quarter, and then you have an instant quilt. So fun, it's so cute. And the scenes are just so whimsical and adorable. We've got a little cat dad walking his little cat kid around the neighborhood. We've got a peacock, she loves peacocks, um, and some birds and some lovely palm trees and houses. These houses look a lot like the houses that were in uh, the last collection that we featured as well. And then it's just, it's so fun. The colors are just amazing. So I think we may actually have just a little bit, I think it was called Homebody of her last collection. So we'll make sure to link to that because you could always grab some goodies from that as well because the colors definitely work from one to another. So this is just an adorable panel. It's just so pretty. And this is available, I believe on its own but also as part of the Fat Quarter Bundle, which we're gonna take a peek at soon. And then we have yardage as well. So we're gonna look at the Fat Quarter Bundle next. All right, this is definitely gonna be one of those that will help assist your focal prints. So this is not gonna take away in any way from whatever your main print is. So if your goal is to highlight that center, then you absolutely can do it with this, it's so pretty. There are a couple of these prints they're really pretty. It is just lines and they kind of cross and intersect, but it is just maybe like four or five colors, but it is really striking when you look at it. And these colors are repeated throughout the collection. Now, this is definitely one of the busier prints that you'd want to leave big if you can. So maybe if you're doing it uh, a block, you might want to have this be your block center. Now, you wouldn't have to fussy cut this, but you certainly could if you wanted to get, say, your bird in the center or your little cat with the flowers and sort of make Swiss cheese of it. But there's something interesting going on in just about every bit. So I think if you just cut it at will, then I think you're going to not be disappointed. I think you will have a little exciting little bits in every section that you cut out. This is a fun one for my cat lovers. We have little kitty cats and bow ties. They're just so cute. So I think this is like her true gift as an artist is we've taken the scenes from that main panel and then she's plucked out elements of them and made them their own fabrics. So this one has little kittens and they're going around. They're going around in their little cars. They've got their little baby kittens. They've got a little tricycle there, both like an adult version and a kid version. This is another one where if you're just cutting big strips across, you're gonna be able to have something fun out of this. But if you want to fussy cut, you absolutely could. And you could have like this cat be like the center of your block. And then you can use some of the other prints where it doesn't matter as much where things get cut to be uh, the surrounding pieces. Here's that same print, just kind of with a mustard greenish background, which I know nobody gravitates toward, but look at how it makes all these colors pop. It's a very important color, even if it may not be your first choice. Here's another very pretty design, just some of those florals. We're gonna see this little fishy print a couple of times. It looks like they're swimming in a little pond. Here's that fish print again in a totally different colorway. It makes it look entirely different. Here are those kitty cats and bow ties again, but this time the cats are much bigger. So again, a good candidate for fussy cutting, uh, but you don't have to. You could absolutely just sort of cut it and wherever they end up, they end up. Here's that line drawing again, this time in more of the medium colorway. And we have a dark one coming up here in a bit. We're back to that birds that we started off with, but you can see that we're in a totally different colorway. Makes them look absolutely different. Yet another floral leaf. And this is 
hands down one of my favorite prints in the collection, maybe after the panel. I just love the richness of this color and the way that it just makes that pink pop, but it is just so, so fun. Like I would, I would wear a garment out of this. This is so pretty and so fun. All right, so to recap, Just Kitten Around by Monica Forsberg. We've got a chat with her from her last collection when I interviewed her for when we had her as our stash from Stephanie featured artist. Maybe we'll have to get back to those. My life just got a little busy. and We didn't do one one month and then we never did another. So maybe we can arrange it for some future ones. But uh, the Fat Quarter Bundle is just so fun. It complements both the designs and the colors really well. Like it just plucks this bird out and makes it its own print and it is just so fun and these little kittens have their own scenes so they get to drive around and it is just adorable and like I said this is like a gift to a quilter because you can just put this in the center and then make some blocks and some borders going with this uh, fat quarter bundle what I would do if I were buying for this and I wasn't totally sure what I would do is I would buy the panel or it comes with a fat quarter bundle so you could get the fat quarter bundle with the panel and then I would buy like one yard of another print that I really like that I thought would make a nice skinny border and maybe a binding too. And then I would get a bunch, like at least like two yards of something that I maybe could do like a final border out of. Cause then I could just go around, add some blocks to make it whatever size I wanted it to be, but I could get it to like a decent size. So like if this is, let's say it's 24 inches wide, but we want it to make it fit like a 20 or a 12 inch block. Well, maybe we need to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe we need to make it a little bit smaller. Maybe we need to add, you know, three inches on either side. So we get six inches and it fits in a little bit better, but that's where you get to really have fun and be creative as a quilter, but you need just a couple of extra yards of some prints that you really like out of here to make that happen. And we do have yardage. So you can absolutely do that with this collection and it's so fun. Like I know, like I said, I know that this is not the print that people gravitate towards as much, but this, sort of mustardy yellow green is the same as right here. It kind of looks like gold actually from a distance. So if you were to take it out here and then add, cut this off and add this as your skinny border, you could get easily like a three inch border where you would be able to fit in the little motifs and it would tie in and make this pop and it would just be so pretty. And I know that we don't always think about these things. We think, oh, that's not my color, but it's used throughout and it's gonna make it pop, make it look gold if you use it strategically when you are figuring out what your fabric wants to become when it grows up. So Monica Forsberg, just getting around. We've got all the things, go have some fun with it. All right, we are on our last fabric collection for the day. This is Honey Bloom by Figo Fabrics. It's uh, not as bright as the other ones, but it is still lovely in its own way. And I think it would be great for anybody who enjoys gardening or you, who you know who enjoys gardening because it's all about the bees that pollinate the flowers. And we do have this on yardage as well as the fat quarter bundles. This print is like your ideal neutral. It's all honeycombs, it's all that nice taupey color. It would just look absolutely fabulous. So if you grab one of these, try to snag some background of this, maybe three, three and a half yards or so, and it will be absolutely perfect for whatever you use it for with this fabric. This one is also light enough to have background potential, but be aware that it would look a little directional because of the stripes. But this would also make a really fun border or perhaps a binding as well, especially if you did it on the bias. We're starting to get a little bit of color here. We have a nice dusty pink with the flowers that of course the bees are gonna need in order to survive. We have a close family friend that just had a little baby boy and I feel like I need to do our twinkle with the blues and the yellows because I know that that's their favorite color and they need a quilt. So I think I might be snagging a little bit of this a few fat quarters. This one's super fun. This yellow is just so sophisticated and it looks great. It's gonna make all those little bees pop. And of course you cannot have a bee print without having a beehive, but this is like a very like rich yellow. It is not like in your face yellow, very sophisticated. I think it'll look great in your homes. Here's that honeycomb print again, just this time it's with that nice golden yellow. Here's that same print that we saw in the yellow, but this time it's a nice slate blue. This one is kind of a cross between green and a very deep teal. It's very pretty to see those little florals. 
I would say that this is definitely the beauty print of the line. This is one that you would wanna try and use big if you could. Borders would be great or even just large sections of your block because there's just so much going on. We have our pretty flowers, we've got some bees buzzing around and it has all the colors that you're gonna see in here but in a really sophisticated design with a lot of shading, it's really very. This is a fabulous candidate for a bias border or bias binding that would just look so good going around the edge of the quilt. It would be so cool and it would tie in all the other colors that we're gonna see in the leaves and in the flowers, very pretty. Here's a little tiny bees again, just buzzing around. They're so cute. And then here's our honeycomb one last time with a nice charcoal gray and black background. All right, so last recap, this is Honey Bloom from Figo Fabrics. Really very pretty. If you've got a little baby come in the spring, this would be fantastic for it. I feel like, like this all here could easily go boy. This section here could easily go girl. A lot of it can go either way. These teals could go either way. The blacks could go either way. Uh, this has a lot of pink in it, so maybe save that one for the girl quilt. But this is just, it's so pretty, it's so fun. It would look good all together or split up for baby quilts. It is just such a sweet line. All right, well, thank you for spending some time with me today to take a look at the new goodies that we have here at Quilt Addicts Anonymous. We'll be back with you guys again next week for some more free motion quilting tutorials. And I hope you guys are really enjoying that series. And until next time, happy quilting. Mm -hmm.